All right, so I'm just I'm, I'm fairly convinced that Microsoft just hates money. They, they just hate money, especially when it comes to Halo. Like they could have done so many things at so many points to make money and they just flat out haven't. If they want to make a successful Halo game, most of us would agree they could make something similar to Halo 2 or Halo 3 with Hitscan, put it out there with new maps and updated graphics and something new to do, and the game would be very successful. Instead, they put out Halo 4, in which they're like, hey, we don't want any ranks to show. We don't want any, like, pressure for there to be ranks or competitive play. And then they completely 180 into being, oh, we only care about the super pro competitive sweaty tryhardness in Halo 5. And they're just killing off their player base and they're going to slowly kill off their pre-orders and sales as well. But that's not what we're even talking about today. Today we're talking about Halo Online. This was their attempt with Saber, a Russian developer, to put out a PC exclusive online multiplayer Halo game called Halo Online. This was an opportunity in which they could have made some serious bank, even if it stayed a free-to-play game and just had microtransactions, from the United States, where, and, and probably Europe, where this huge group of Halo fans have been dying for a good PC title for a very long time. This would kind of sort of start to make up for never giving us Halo 3 on PC, or Halo Reach, or anything like that. But that's not what they're doing. Instead, they put it out only in Russia. They did a beta test run, continued to say that this would be only a Russian game, that they'd never do it in the US, and they've now canceled it. We've got an article here from GameSpot as of August 25th, which was actually yesterday from when I'm recording this, in which they say that uh, v, v Kontake, I can't, it's a Russian name of course, a member of the development team explained that the work on the game has ceased, that they followed the beta period, took the servers down to rework things, and that they're no longer going to be working on the game. They're no longer, like, the game's effectively no more, and that the social media channels will also be closed. So not only did they never bother to put it out in the US to begin with, where they could have made some serious fucking money, they just decided to shut it down altogether. This game could have been huge, and if you want evidence of that, there's the US mod, or the English mod, where there's a huge online community of people who have completely modded it using assets from the Xbox 360 games, even made like Halo 3 exclusive like theming and everything. They even pulled the like theming and they started trying to pull some of the maps off the Xbox 360 and just made a really cool playable mod in English in any country, pretty much, that works pretty well and it has a huge player base, because all of these people, including myself, wanted a good Halo game on the PC, and they essentially could have given it to us. I, I, I don't know what you think, but I, I am fairly convinced that Microsoft just hates money. Like, I am convinced at this point that if Microsoft wanted money from their players, they would have put this out. They would have rehab, they would have slated it for a US release in the first place, they would have put it out, they would not be cancelling the only good thing they've done with Halo in quite a long time. I, I, I don't understand the decision making process is going on here. I just don't understand it at all. And I'm sitting here looking at some of the giffies and things like that over up on the Halo Online subreddit, and it reminds me so much of the Halo 3 days. Now, that's a, someone might say that's a little skewed since it's obviously on some Halo 3 maps, but we've just got some really awesome clips and people just sharing clips and moments and ideas about maps and game types and weapon redesigns and things like this. Like this subreddit reminds me of the Halo 3 file forums, which was like the peak of Halo to me. It was back in the Halo 3 days, we had the Bungie.net Halo 3 file forums and, and just normal Halo 3 forums. An entire super active, huge online community of people talking about Halo, what they wanted to see, what they wanted to change, sharing game types, maps, uh, screenshots, video clips, we had file share, we had the Bungie community picks of the week or of the month or whatever, where we could download specific curated content and see what they appreciated from the community. We don't get that anymore. We don't get 343's community picks. We don't, there's not even, there, there's rarely a working file share. They've not bothered to take any of this successful formula and make it work. And what's worse is that this freaking Halo Online could have been that for all of us. Like, ugh, why? So, 
yeah. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Like I said, I'm I'm fairly freaking convinced at this point that Microsoft hates money. I'm going to be playing Halo Online. It's going to be a mess because I have to re-download everything since I have a, a quite a bit older version. But I'm going to be playing Halo Online. You should too. I, I don't know. I hope to see things... I don't know. I, this is hugely disappointing news. BBK Dragoon shared it to me. He's just like... Look at this, and my first reaction was just LOL in all caps. I was like, wow, what the fuck? And then I actually read it and I was just like, really? That's that's all they have to say about it. Like, I, I do do they hate money? What what what's happening here? Do they not want to make money from Halo? Are they trying to kill Halo? Is that what's going on here? Are they trying to like secretly kill off Halo? Because if they are, just tell us that it's dead. Don't run it into the ground. Let us enjoy like go fix MCC and then let us just enjoy Halo as it was. I, I don't know. I just wanted to share this news with you guys. I'll have the GameSpot link in the description below. Along with the subreddit for Halo Online where you can check out the English mod if you want to play it in your country. They've got server browsers and things like that. It's pretty cool how much they have it set up. And you might be watching Halo Online gameplay right here if I don't get a copyright notice for it again. So, thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh.